This is not a math problem. This is a you lied to me, hid from me, stole from our family, and think it's okay, and it's not freaking okay. Dayo is with us in Maryland. Hi, Dayo. How are you? Good afternoon, Mr. Ramsey. How are you doing today? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, my husband and I took um, Financial Peace University in November of 2017 through our church. Um, prior to that, we had a, a lot of financial issues in our family, and we were separate with uh, the way we managed um, finances. Um, after the class, during the class, we were encouraged to um, get rid of our credit cards, and he was completely on board. We cut up the credit cards. We paid everything off. Um, so far, we started out with debt of $230,000 um, of non-mortgage um, debt. And we were, we've were we been able to pay down to $110,000. Way to go. Wow. Thank you. But uh, we've had also other family problems, just um, just marital issues that we're dealing with and we're in counseling for. Mm -hmm. During one of our um, situation, he uh, expressed to me voluntarily that he opened uh, one of the credit cards, which we had in my mind was already gone, um, and that he used a portion of the, the, the credit card to consult uh, for the consultation from the lawyers. Um, and that didn't make sense to me because um, the amount of money that he told me he spent for consultation and reten retention fee for a lawyer was 2300 And the situation that he was referring to that made him go to a lawyer didn't seem like it was something that he should have done that. So I went doing my own investigation and found that he had actually been using the credit card for, for more than a year now for other purchases, just personal things that he was um, that he needed, IKEA, Barnes and Noble, and things of that nature, and just spent three hundred dollars for a legal consultation, uh, which didn't make sense to me. But that's exactly what I found out when I confronted him with the information. He initially did not want to own up to it, wasn't outright and upfront about the situation. But um, so my question now is how do I, we've been able to move past that. We've gone to counseling and we're working through the marital issues. And he's promised me that he was going to try to pay up the credit cards on his own. I don't have to worry about it. It's not part of our uh, snowball and it's not my issue, but I just feel completely betrayed because we had taken this class and we had been doing how long so ago well. did all this, how long ago did all this occur? This happened within a week about it about about a week a week ago right I now yes, but I found out about the credit card yes you found out about the credit card less, one week ago less than a week, maybe about five days ago and you've already met with your counselor about this and already moved on is what you said. Well, regarding the marital issues. Um, oh, you've not discussed the fact that he lied to you about a credit card with your marriage counselor? No, we haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, you need to. That's right. That's let me, let me tell you what's happening here, okay? You, you're you on unstable ground. You're walking across the pond on frozen ice, and it's cracking all around you. And you feel really scared because you don't know what to trust. Because trust has been broken in several different areas of this relationship. Am I right? That is correct. Yeah. And this is yet one more. And so what we've found in our financial coaching and working with marriage counselors is that when someone lies about something after we have a solid marital contract, meaning you all had you know, had a handshake agreement that you had gone to the class, you weren't using credit cards anymore, and he straight up lied and deceived and hid this from you, that it activates the same part of your emotions that an affair does. And so people in our world have started calling it financial infidelity because it makes That's you feel exactly kind of the same way, right? That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. But somehow I'm getting the feeling that he thinks it's all about the money. No, uh, it's not. It's all about lying. It's about the trust. It's all about lying. And it's all about trust. 
the money is not an issue. You start with two hundred thirty thousand, you're down to one hundred and ten thousand. Twenty three hundred dollars is not a problem, right? That is absolutely. It absolutely is not true. about the money. This is not a math problem. This is a you lied to me, hid from me, stole from our family, and think it's okay, and it's not freaking okay. And that that's what you're feeling. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, betrayed. It's a trust has been broken. And so, uh, yeah, this is something you guys really need to unpack with your counselor. And I'm glad you've got one. You need one. A and continue to work this through. Um, because he needs to grasp the idea that lying to his wife is probably not going to work out well. <laughs> yes. About anything. <laughs> So I guess my question now is, do I, do we proceed, do we continue with the baby yes, steps? Yes, yes, assuming we can get back on the page of trust. But dude, you know, you really, avoid, he's really, he's really asking to end his marriage if he keeps this crap up, because you probably only got one or two of more of these things in you, and you're going to be done. You're going to, you, you know, because any normal, sane human being is not going to put up with somebody just looking you in the face and lying to you all the time. So this guy, y'all misbehaved. You got all these other issues, all these things with financial problems and everything else. You've worked it through. You were on a path towards healing. And he decides to, you know, sidebar here with this. And you start to wonder, what else have you lied to me about? And that's just normal human nature. I don't know if he's lied to you about something else or not, but I mean, it's, it, I'm wondering if he's willing to lie to you about Barnes and Noble. My God, that's a fairly low bar. What's he willing to lie about? You know, what if it was something big that actually mattered? You know, so yeah, yeah, I think this goes to the counselor and I think you guys work it through and know you're not being crazy to have the feelings that you have. Uh, hopefully y'all can work them through. I hope you can. I hope he stops this misbehavior, and I hope there's not other misbehavior tied to this credit card. But that's that's what you're looking for, is you're trying to rebuild trust. And you're exactly right. This is a trust problem. 